YouTube, how's it going? The Goat House is back with some more record predictions for the upcoming 2019 season. This video is for the Jets. We're going team by team. We'll eventually get through all the teams here. So I apologize for the wait if you're waiting for a specific team, but we'll get through it. Two to four videos a day on these. Uh, but the Jets, you know, at this point of the, these videos, I want to break down my thoughts on the team. The Jets are probably the trickiest team really to, to give you my thoughts because I'm so back and forth on my thoughts because... I mean, Darnold's still young. You know, I wasn't super high on him as a prospect, but I knew he had a bunch of potential. I wasn't doubting his potential. He can be a good quarterback. I just thought it would take time. So, you know, he still could struggle a little bit, but they're putting together that team a little better, so it could help him out. Uh, they get Le'Veon Bell. That's great as long as he's on the field, which we expect him to be. Uh, that's very solid. You know, looking at those other uh, AFC East teams, you can run the ball on those teams. So this is all positive. This is all real good. Receiver unit, I really like Robbie Anderson. Other than that, not a huge fan. They got some other solid players there. Uh, offensive line, you know, it's tough. We thought they would struggle big time last year, and they're pretty solid, I mean, for what we expected. So there could be some struggles again this year on paper, but maybe they could be a little better than expected. Defense, I like their defense. You know, you go through the defense. They added Quinn Williams, with my number one player in the draft. Pair him with Leonard Williams. I love it. And then they got maybe the best inside linebacker duo. It's definitely up there at, with adding C.J. Mosley. They definitely can use some more pass rush. But so far, looking at the D-line linebackers, it's looking great. So I'm thinking, especially with Greg Williams in there, I'm thinking this team's going to win games purely off defense. And then the bonus would be Le'Veon Bell and the playmakers on offense. But then you kind of – so I'm like pretty high on this team. That's This is where I kind of go back and forth. Then I remember the secondary corners, maybe one of the worst units in football. And corners a very important position. So I'm like, oh, that's going to lose in some games. But then they have a very, very good safety duo. And Jamal Adams, I'm a huge fan of. So this team's all over the place. You know, it's, I guess it's just about, you know, not making mistakes, going out and executing. That's how it is for every team. But um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a strange team. They have the potential. But I think mainly they're a future team. But we'll see. I haven't broken down their game by game yet. That's what this video is for. So uh, 20K is our subscriber goal. Please help us get there. We're almost there. Sports been awesome. Love you guys out there helping us out. And then clicking that like button, checking out our Twitter, Instagram, both those in the description. All much appreciated. For these videos, I'm using playoffpredictors.com. Link in the top of the description for every single one of these videos. So I did the whole AFC East already, and I actually had the Bills winning this game. And I'm kind of sticking to it. Just kind of a gut feeling there. It's kind of what you got to go on in week one. Really, really the first few weeks. Usually week one and two is pretty pretty crazy you know you'll see these teams dominate and win and you're like okay this team's gonna be good and it really tells you nothing basically that's what I say every year week one tells you nothing absolutely nothing it's important just as important as the other games but it tells you nothing it has a gut feeling I like the bills there Monday night I like I love home teams in, in prime time Monday night love it I like the Jets there uh, two young teams going at it you know I'm more of a Baker Mayfield guy in terms of his talent over Sam Darnold but that doesn't really matter here and the Jets defense steps up offense makes some big plays home opener or no it's not the home opener. the second second game of the year on Monday night football so home primetime game is what I'm trying to say that's a big one I think they win it uh the Patriots I got winning in that one New England at home pretty simple I think unless they just go downhill by week week four then they're playing the Eagles it's tough because it's they're away on that one I like the Eagles as long as they're healthy. You know, you'd rather play the Eagles down here. Eh? Yeah, yeah, you'd rather play the Eagles down there. I had to think about what I was saying because this is where they go on a terrors down here, but Nick, that's because Nick Foles is always coming in. He's not there anymore. And so the reason you'd rather play the Eagles down here now is because they're most likely going to be healthy. Carson Wentz on the offensive line and the defensive backs, I'm kind of, was what I'm trying to say. So they'll most likely be healthy right there. So that's why you'd rather play the Eagles down here these days. But the Eagles at home, I like them. Cowboys, Jets. Oh, that's tough. That's a tough one because it's in New York. I, I just think the Cowboys are, I don't want to say much better team, but they're the better team. I, I think it's somewhat clear. You know, people are really getting the Jet, Jets hype train. I think you need to slow down a little bit. I like the future. And I forgot to mention when I was saying I'm back and forth in the Jets. You know, once one second I'm really liking them, and then I remember they hired Adam Gase. Not a huge fan of that either. So, kind of just back and forth in this team. I think the hype's getting. So it seems like the Browns and the Jets, and maybe the Bills too. I think the hype's getting just a little too much. You know, there's a little too much hype going on. But 
one of those teams is bound to really figure it out. You know, looking at last year, the surprising teams. Uh, Patriots, Jets. I like the Jets. This is Monday night. Uh, prime time. They're home. I like it. A uh, big reason why is between between one of these two games. Really, it could be both, but I, I think Le'Veon Bell absolutely goes runs wild in, in at least one of these games. I think this is the one Monday night where he pretty much wins it. Just they, the Jets win it on the ground there. You know, the Patriots will score some points even if the Jets' defense is, is feeling it. Uh, the Jets, Jags, this is a good game. You know, it's whoever defense, whatever def, good defense plays better on that that day. Uh, since it's that close, the home team to me, the defense will play a little better. Uh, Jets and Dolphins. I like. I already did. The, I already did the Dolphins video. I had them splitting. Really, the home teams winning there. Giants and Jets. I like the. I like the Jet. The Jets there. Almost the Giants. I like the Jets. Uh, at home, Giants still trying to figure it out who will their quarterback be at this point. You know, I'm not a big Daniel Jones fan, but I hope they kind of just don't throw him in if he hasn't been the starter at this point. Don't throw him into losing. Well, we'll save that for the Giants video. Um. So we got only three wins at this point. Yikes, but that's a tough schedule. That's a very tough schedule. Uh, playing the Redskins then. I like the Redskins at home. That's a good game, but Red- Washington's a tough place to play that field. I like the Redskins. I-, I do like the Jets at home against the Raiders. I think that should that- it'll be a close game. You know, Raiders definitely got better. I like the Jets at home, though. Uh, the Bengals. The Bengals seem to play better in the beginning of the season every year, not so much the late later part. So I'll take the Jets on that one. Uh, like I said, I had them splitting on this, so just, so the Jets are starting to figure it out now. Um, Thursday night in Baltimore, no, I got the, I got the Ravens in that one. Um, home against the Steelers. Home against the Steelers. That's a good game. Le'Veon Bell versus the Steelers. Um, I, I'm still picking the Steelers. I, I think. I think they, I think the Steelers throw all over them. I, I do like Jamal Adams that safety, that safety uh, duo there, but the corners, I think they throw down the sideline there. That that could be the problem for the Jets. Teams just throwing down the sideline, using that try to take Jamal Adams out of place. Um, you really got to take advantage when he comes up into a bo- into the box. That's how you, that's how you beat the Jets. Um, so I, I do for for matchup purposes. I like the Steelers, but that's going to be interesting. Le'Veon. Le'Veon versus Steelers, that's going to be one to watch for sure. Hopefully it means something. Hopefully both these teams are trying to go for the playoffs. Uh, that'll be great. And then I had the, the Bills and the Jets splitting, so I have 7-9. and nine. Uh, I think that's pretty good for a second-year quarterback that is more of the upside guy, not the who wasn't the pro-ready guy, so I think 7-9 and is actually good. Uh, I think that's, you know, they're heading in the right di- direction. You know, guys like Le'Veon Bell want to do more than that now. I know they have the confidence. I, you know, I'm really glad they got Quinn Williams. I think... Not him alone, but him with the rest of that defense. Guys like C.J. Mosley, Leonard Williams, you know, guys like that. I think will win games. So I, I keep I'm back and forth. Like you can probably tell it. I said it, and you probably can tell. I'm back and forth because I'm thinking about Le'Veon Bell. I'm thinking about the the best player in the draft. They got some other defensive pieces I named. I'm loving it. But then they got a weak cornerback group. The not the best weapons. A quarterback that's still trying to grow. The core, the coach that I'm not a huge fan of. Back and forth, you know. There's sides that make that make it look like one side is they're a playoff team, and this team can beat some people. You know that I mean they got Greg Williams in there too, so it, it's I'm back and forth. I think seven and nine is about right though. Where you know because of the quarterback, the most important position, you know he could struggle. So at times I think that's very realistic. So games that can go either way, uh, really both games against the, the Bills. You know either way, um, I mean honestly they could lose to the Browns there. They could beat the Cowboys there, though. Um, you know, this week eight, nine, they could come away with one of those wins. You know, beating the Patriots is a tough task, though. Uh, the New York battle could be tough, even if the Giants have a QB situation there. I think this is accurate. I think this is where they should go. But again, the team surprised me and everybody else last year. Could it be the Jets this year? It's just figuring out which team it is because teams will surprise. Teams will go from bottom of their division. Not necessarily fourth, but bottom of the division to the top. You know, it doesn't really happen in the AFC East. One and number two, you know, it feels like people are picking out all the teams so they can be right. You know, I feel like media, they're like, you yeah, know, the Jets are going to do it. Some people are like, the Bills are going to do it. The Browns are going to do it. The um, the Jaguars are going to do it. The the Packers are going to, you know, I think p- teams are saying all these teams are going to do it and they go and one of those teams at least is bound for it to happen and they're going to be like, see, I was right. Like, no, that's not how it works. 
So, yeah, AFC is tough, tough division to do that in. Jets got a future though, along with the other AFC East teams. You know, they're they're just trying to rebuild it to catch the Patriots one day, and you know, Tom Brady's career coming to the end, so that could happen. But and that's going to do it for the Jets and the AFC East. We'll get on to the NFC East next, kind of go back and forth, and we'll get three, through these. I apologize if anybody has to wait. Um, you know, NFC West will be last, so I apologize for any fans of those teams. But plenty of offseason to get this done, along with plenty, plenty more predictions, rankings for the NFL season, and we'll cover the NBA draft as well. So that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for everyone's support. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.